Good afternoon and welcome to my daily broadcast. My name is Barry Selby. Actually, let me start with the title. I, got a, I changed orders and I forgot what I was doing. <laughs> welcome to my daily broadcast. Unscripted and not perfect. <laughs> um, this is episode 455. 455. Whoa. I mentioned that in a moment. I want to get but there's something just triggers, trick, tickles me about that. Anyway, the episode today is um, stop wasting your money and time, or time and money and heart, on dating apps and dating sites. And I'll tell you why. Before I get to that, let me introduce myself formally so you know what I'm about. My name is Barry Selby. I'm a best selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert and help strong, successful women find balance in love, life, and business. And that's the, the latter is becoming more important than the former, the way things are going with my clients. Um, I'm also a passionate champion for the Divine Feminine. And every day I do a talk on Facebook Live where it starts, then it goes into YouTube and podcasts, so you may be listening and watching there, and I'll tell you the links afterwards, um, called Messages for the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart. And today's episode is number 455, every day, so over a year and, and a half or so. Um, and the quick aside that I was mentioning about the numbers I'm going to out myself from my younger years I used to be a major car fanatic um, particularly American cars even back in England I had a few cars in England when I was there that were American I belonged to a car club called the Dan Yankees even so anyway younger more carefree days um, but the num the engine size is in cubic inches the number blocks stuck in my head from way back so 451, 455, 383, 440, all these numbers are actually engine sizes from cars back in the day from, the, from various car manufacturers. So when I said 455, I was going, I know that number. Oh, yeah, it's a car engine size. So anyway, totally off the traffic, off the topic. Let me get back on track. So welcome to my broadcast. Hi again. My name is Barry Selby, as I mentioned. I did a talk yesterday um, telling you why, why matchmaking is a... And what was the word I used? <laughs> I wasn't very complimentary, but I was talking about the the late coming matchmaking services out there, and this is kind of a part two of that, which is the dating at the dating sites, but a different angle. So I'd invite you to watch number number four fifty four, which is yesterday, to go over that one. But today's is actually a little different because it's really hitting me clearly that there's a mis an error in approach that's happening because most of these dating services, so dating sites, dating apps, and matchmakers to name a few, are promising something that, one, they can't necessarily deliver, two, that are setting up for failure because you are thinking they're going to do something for you they're not going to do, and three, it's the wrong approach, as I mentioned. So, as I said, don't stop wasting your money and time on dating apps, dating sites, because, first of all, actually, hang on, I'm just I'm regrouping how I want to say this, because it's coming through, and I'm, it, it's coming through like splatter, and I'm like, let me put this in some sort of order of sequence that makes sense to you. That's the attempt, anyway. <sighs> Where to begin? <coughs> coming to the mic, on a sneeze on it. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, I cleared my head, I think. Hang on. <coughs> Second one. Double clear my head. All right, so let's get, <laughs> let's get on. To, let's get on point. Much clearer now. I hope it was for you too. I hope it didn't blow you blow you out the mic because I'm I'm wearing a, a lovely mic now to make sure that my uh, voice gets properly recorded because some people have been commenting how when I didn't use a microphone they weren't hearing clearly. So I thought let's get a microphone so you can hear my talks without effort. All right. So the temptation, the invitation of dating apps and dating sites, is to have you believe that using these sites, these apps, these um, tools, use them as tools, is a way that will deliver to you that which you love and want, a relationship, a partner, that incredible person you've been dreaming of and waiting and praying for. Awesome, great idea, except for a slight problem. First of all, you're setting yourself up for, for failure, not success, failure. Secondly, they can't deliver what, you prom what they promise. And here's why. Again, reordering this in sequence. So I'm attempting to put it in a sequence that you can actually see the through line because I was throwing things in, things are bouncing around in here. <laughs> Makes it a bit challenging. So here's the pieces I want to give you. This may not be in order, so bear with me as I explain this and then articulate it. First of all, 
in the arena of dating sites, dating apps, most people jump in without a clear vision of what they want. So they're looking for the apps to save them from themselves by giving them something they don't even know what it is, but they know that through that function, they'll, they believe they're going to get what they want. And here's the question. If you don't know what you want, how will you know when you get it? Here's an answer. You won't. And the reality is that these dating apps are providing you with a smorgasbord, is what we're putting it, of these different um, possibilities. So I'm using the safe words the best I can. That will line you up with what you want, even though you don't know what it is. So you're basically going to trust these electronic, algorithmic, automatic services to provide you with matches that match you what you want. First of all, one of the problems, and I mentioned this before with some of the matchmaking services yesterday, a lot of those matches that are being provided through these apps and sites are not based on who you are. They're not based upon what you love. They're not based upon what you're about. They're based upon how much you weigh, where you live, what your spiritual practice is, um, your age. And that's about it. Most of the criteria aren't very clear. So when you use these apps as your primary source of searching for a relationship, you're looking through a very um, ineffective lens. And the reality is what you meet, or, the, or the, the result is what you meet, are people who may fit the fact that they're the right height, the right age, and their pictures look okay. But do you know their, partner, their, their parenting history, sorry, their, their, their parental upbringing? family upbringing? Do you know what their relationship with their exes are like? Do you know what the way they treat kids is going to be? Do you know the way they, I mean, I say this. So the problem with these apps is that people don't need to put in there, um, I was raised in a dysfunctional family and I'm still getting through my anger issues. Um, I have had an on and off relationship with alcohol that's giving me problems when I go on dates. Because um, this is what people will be, this is the truth of what people have, but they don't say it on their apps. They basically put, um, everything's fine, I've got a great job, and uh, let's go out. It's ridiculous. Yet, you put your investment of your heart, your mind, your money, and your time into these sites and dating without really clearly where you're going. And the, the thing that, I, that bugs me the most is that all that effort, time, and money that you invest in all these apps and the dates that come out of those apps and sites, or you spend money with some of these services, to find you a match that's going to be a life-changing experience and you're a bit upset when you're spending more than 30 or 40 bucks a month I know some are a lot higher than that yet you'll invest 150 bucks a month in the gym you go to or you'll invest a thousand dollars two thousand dollars a month with a coach to help with your business but you'll be, be upset with spending any money on a dating app or a site because the reality is you know that these sites and apps don't provide you what you really want and they don't, sh they don't show you the way to get what you really want. And this is the mistaken approach. And this is why I said don't waste your money. What I am suggesting is before you use these apps, because I mentioned in the beginning that these dating apps and sites are tools. And tools only work when you know how to use them. If you don't use a screwdriver, it's just a pointy thing. And if you don't need to use a hammer, you'll destroy a lot of things with it without realizing that's not what it's meant for. I hope you get my point. Tools are great when you know how to use them. They are <laughs> confused. They are toys, weapons, or um, incomprehensible devices if you don't know how to use them. I'm going to offer a solution, and I'm going to give you that in a second. I just want to make sure I've exhausted all my um, metaphors <laughs> and labels for how bad this stuff is. But here's the piece I want to give you one more piece on this. There are many people I know who have met people through dating apps and sites, been out on dates, been out and had relationships that may have lasted a while. But the truth has been that they've ended up in really um, upsetting places where the relationship ended badly, they were hurt or wounded by the partner, or the person deserted them or ghosted them, all these other things. Because again, these tools weren't used well. So here's the thing. And I'm speaking mostly to the ladies on this one because this is, this is where my focus and my work is on, as I said at the beginning. I hope women find balance in love, life and business. This is why, this is my audience. Men, I'll give you a clue at the end of this too. So ladies, before you even pick up one of these tools, dating site, dating app, whatever it is, it's really good if you know what you're looking for. In fact, it's not so much what you're looking for, 
as you're looking to bring in. I've shared this on a number of times on my, on my uh, broadcast, and I mentioned yesterday I have a program called Attract the Man You Want. The reason I want to say that is because the front, first word of that is attract. I said it's attract the man you want because it's not search for the man you want. It's not swipe for the man you want. It's not pursue the man you want. It's attract the man you want. And this is the key, or a key. Ladies, when you want an amazing relationship, as you're going to be attracting anything, if you don't know what you're looking for, because again, if you don't know what you're looking for, how do you know what shows up? Because you're going to attract anything and everything. And if that's the way you want to date, great, but I don't think it is. If you want to choose healthy relationships, then you need to know up front what it is you're looking for to attract it in. And then when you attract what matches, you'll know that. And when it doesn't match, you'll know to walk away. That discernment is so simple, but people overlook it. So, first of all, ladies, knowing that what you want clearly is a key because when you know what you want, you can attract it in. That's key. Um, on the flip side for men, just to have that for both sides of the conversation, men, you also need to know what you're looking for. It's clear for both men and women, knowing what you want first is where it starts from. But ladies, what happens is when you know what you want, you can then focus on how to attract it. And men, when you know what you want, you then know what to go looking for. That's the opposites of the polarity, so that you both know what they're about. The dating apps are built for men, primarily, which is why most of them are, which is why most of the apps are pictorial based, because men know what they're looking for. Again, pictures, tell the story. The second part is, for ladies, because there isn't a dating app design, actually there are some dating apps showing up now that are designed for you more and more, but still, until you know what you want, there's no point using the apps because they are tools you don't know how to use. Sorry, don't know, how to know what they're for. As in, the dates you choose may not match what you're looking for if you don't know what you're looking for in the first place. So again, before you start, before you begin, know what it is you want in your partner. Now, oh, that'd be something to get to, okay. Having clarity is a big step. So getting clear about what it is, lists, I know vision boards, ideas, they can do all this stuff too. But here's one of the pieces I want to drop in here. If you don't, if you, first of all, you don't start with a clear vision. You want to know where you're going. You're walking around blindly in a room with no lights on. Not very effective. But if you know what you're looking for and looking, working with, you can go directly towards, towards where you want to go. And the reality is also, when you do know what you're looking for, then if you use a dating app, dating site, it's much faster if you're attracting what you want because what you're doing by getting clear on your, what you want is you create an energetic that pulls it in. And that jet, that focus, that um, vibration, as it were, is an attractive quality that brings in what you want. Now, that other piece that dropped in. I can say and say this is the best way. I'm, I'm saying what I've said before in a different way, and I'm sure you get this. So many of you are using the dating apps, dating sites, even matchmakers to find the love you want out there. Which is wonderful only if you've already learned how to love inside here. This in here is where the love begins. And to find someone out there to love you up will not work if you don't have this done first. And the ability to love somebody else is limited by your ability to love yourself. If you don't love yourself fully, there's not, much, not that much love to share with somebody else, and so they may feel unloved and you end up losing them. So if you want an amazing relationship, you want to know what you're looking for, key. You want to love yourself fully, absolutely a key. So that way when you're out there in the dating world, one, you're not hungry and seeking and trying to poach on somebody else to get their energy, which is not very pleasant or attractive. The energy vampire thing I've talked about before. Secondly, you won't be as needy or as um, desperate for the love either. You'll be invitational, you'll be inviting in, you'll be actually be attractive because you're shining a light and loving who you are. And that's a fundamental key. I'm going to mention these two things again because I've talked about it several times and I want to make sure you get this invitation. Um, for those of you who know that you want to go beyond the dating apps and dating sites and you want to stop wasting your time and years of your life, I invite you to check out three offerings. Yes, three offerings. One of which is, I thought it was in, in escalating in investment. <laughs> the first one is the free discovery session with me. A chance to chat and get clear about where you are and what you're looking for and what you really, maybe not, not be able to see what you really want. And I hope you get some clarity so you know where you're going and where you want to go. And if it lines up and you want to work together, great. That's a gift from me to you. You go to barryselby.com forward slash chat. I'll put these links in the comments below, by the way. Sign up there for a discovery, a discovery session. You click on the calendar, the pictures of time, they fill out the form, and we can talk. That's number one. Number two, 
as I mentioned, self-love is a key. That's why I've had to create this self-love practice that I didn't have before because my clients wanted it from me, so you can have it too. And that one is a small investment, but it provides two guided meditations in audio format as well as a written guidebook to explain why and how it works, give you some deeper levels to work with and to really transform your life and your self-image self, um, relationship as well. That you go to barryselby.com forward slash self-love or one word, and you can look at it there, sign up, download it and get started. Third piece, I mentioned I have a program called Attract the Man You Want. Ladies, it starts with learning what you want. It starts with having a vision that you live by, and it starts with you knowing what it is supports you, serves you, and uplifts you. And that's where the Attract the Man You Want program comes in. It is designed for you to get vision, get clear on your vision, and create a vibrational energy that is magnetic to pull in what you want. If you have that done before you start doing these dating apps, dating sites, and matchmakers, your chance of success escalates massively. And for that, you can check it out. Go to barryselby.com. Yes, that's my name and my site. Forward slash ATM, as in attract the man. I didn't. I, I figured ATM is enough, and I put ATMYW. That's too much. So easy to remember. So barryselby.com forward slash ATM, and that will get you signed up. Or I should say that will give you the information. You can sign up there. That's a self-guided eight-module program, or it's offered with coaching as well. If you want to get some private coaching on top of that, so that's the highest investment of those three things. I do this for a reason. All this stuff I talk about in Facebook Lives, all 455 of them so far, and these offerings I've created for you are because I really believe that you can have what you want. I'm passionate about you getting what you want the right way. And I know how many women have been wounded in past relationships, and I am vowed, I have, I have vowed and I am passionate about changing that paradigm so you no longer have to deal with the pain, suffering, the hurt you've done in the past. Those three things I talked about will help you move forward, but you've got to take action. So check them out today, have a look, see if they line up, and then say yes. It is really that simple. Yeah, that simple. So I think that covers everything. Um, there may be more coming tomorrow, more broadcasts, but this is the key things I want to give you today. Let me add um, the links I mentioned for the my broadcast, because if you have, um, okay. She's got a connection issue that's interesting okay carrying right along <laughs> I hope it's working okay if you want to see my broadcast and you haven't seen my other ones before I keep an archive of my Facebook lives on my business page on YouTube and on my podcast and those links are um, on Facebook it's facebook.com forward slash Barry Selby dot author and uh, that's where they end up going on my Facebook on YouTube if you look up my name Barry Selby as a channel and then check for messages for the mask and as a playlist you can find them all there as well and finally, I'm now creating my podcast and uploading the finals there, so you can listen to my audios anytime you want. And if you go to iTunes and look for Messages from the Masculine, you'll find my podcast. Subscribe, download, enjoy. I think that's it. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for being with me as always. Things are moving forward and there's some new things coming, so if you want to get started, start now. Um, yeah, start with loving yourself, start with your vision, and then you can start looking out there for what you want. But if you do the other way around, the odds are against you just telling the truth. So let's stack the deck in your favor, shall we? I'll speak to you again tomorrow. My Facebook Lives come up at 5 p.m. Pacific time every day. I will see you again tomorrow at that time. Take care of yourself and uh, consider what I said. I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.